Even the New Mexico AG has abandoned Governor Lujan Grissom's unconstitutional and draconian order. What's up, Wolverines? Welcome back to the channel. My name is John Crump. I'm an investigative journalist that concentrates on the gun space. And here on John Crump News, we discuss 2A issues every day. Please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It would really help out with channel growth, and I would really, really appreciate it. Today, we're going to be talking about New Mexico once again. Hopefully soon, we'll get some other news besides New Mexico. But New Mexico seems to be the hot topic because of the governor's unconstitutional and draconian public health order that banned the open and concealed carry of handguns in Albuquerque and the surrounding area. Now we know that there's about six lawsuits going on. One from GOA, then you got NAGR, you have SAF, you have New Mexico Shooting Sports Foundation, you have We the Patriot, and you have a couple from independent citizens and they're all suing the governor saying that her order is unconstitutional and it is unconstitutional she thinks that she has some rights to suspend the constitution because she's issuing a public health emergency which is not exactly real but whatever. Okay, so we know that the police departments, the Albuquerque PD, and the sheriff will not enforce her unconstitutional rule. And now we know that the AG, the Attorney General, Raul Torres, will not defend the governor's illegal order. He stated that he does not believe that it passes constitutional muster. He also encouraged the governor to take action through the New Mexico legislature and not go off at the hip, which is exactly what she has done. She has been abandoned by a bunch of Democrats, including people in New Mexico who are Democrats. Some of the state reps that are Democrats have abandoned her. And plus, on the national level, people like Ted Lieu and David Ogg has also abandoned her. This is not a good look. I don't know if she thought that she was going to be held as a hero, but she is not. The only support that I see her getting is from groups like Moms Demand Action and other anti-freedom groups, plus the Arizona Democrats, which is kind of weird. But that's beyond the point. Just wanted to let you know that the AG will not defend the governor against these lawsuits, which is a good thing. All right, guys, that is it. Once we have more developments, I will let you know. But until then, stay ever vigilant, stay ever free, keeping the fight. I'm out of there, Wolverines, motherfucker. <laughs>